Hello there, a very good morning and welcome to another edition of the Talk of the Town. Joining us this morning is Dr. Vikramasinghe. He's a general committee member of the Government Medical Officers Association. A very good morning, doctor, and welcome to the show. Good morning. Uh, doctor, we've been speaking extensively about the health crisis in Sri Lanka. Doctors are leaving the country, but nothing seems to be presented as a viable solution to this issue. Now, the GMOA has been calling for maybe tax reductions, increase in incentives. Does the GMOA have any other solution? What are the solutions that you have proposed to the government to solve this issue? First of all, thank you very much for inviting GMO for this valuable discussion. Actually, GMO as a professional and responsible trade union, we have not only given the problem, but we have given the solution also. Hmm. We have we have seen that what are the problems here. So we have given an eightfold proposal to the government telling that if you want to stop this brain, this is the worst crisis that we are facing and hmm. the imminent crisis that the entire health system might be facing. So... We have given the eightfold proposal. This includes both monetary and non-monetary proposals. Hmm. So we have given the government to that and we have given a space also. Hmm. We are not asking everything to be implemented in four. So we have given the space and we have given the we have given the proposals. And if the government is in an agreement with us, if they can come to a policy decision that we are agreeing to this and we can implement in stepwise manner in this timeline, at least we have a hope. We can give a hope to our members. We can tell our members that, okay, this is our agreement with the government. This is the timeline. Hmm. So we'll get this thing at this time. So let's wait and see. But at the moment, what has happened is the the severe uncertainty that prevails in the country is the problem, is the main reason that people are migrating. So, doctor, the government hasn't been responsive to your proposals. Uh, they haven't been giving you any positive feedback at all. Is that what you're saying, doctor? We are getting discussions and we are getting uh, various for- forums to give our proposals and all. But the thing is that no any results has come yet. Hmm. That's what I was telling. If they can, if they can give us assurance, they can tell that this is the timeline. Then we know that we can, we can, we can give, tell our members. So if nothing is happening for so long time, you know that about the, the taxation issue. We have been paying tax for nine months. And the government gave us assurance that they are going to review the tax in September with the EMF hmm. and they will come up with amendments. Hmm. So we have given that space to the government. So you will continue to give that space? We have been continue to give that space for last nine months. But when will giving of that space end, doctor? That, that's why we are waiting. The delegation is here. Hmm. They have to come up with a solution. And if they can, if they can tell that after the review, if they are telling that, okay, this will happen hmm. after October 1st. Hmm. Oh, if the, with this will happen is with the next budget, hmm. then then we know that this is going to be happen. Hmm. But if there is no hope like that, no answer, no results are coming, so there is the uncertainty will continue. Doctor, is this a do or die situation? Is it uh, either give us the concessions that we demand for, either implement the programs that we have given to you, or we will resort to trade union action? Is it a situation like that? We are being compelled to go into that situation. So we have been carrying out series of actions. Mm -hmm. We gave our proposals. We educated in media mm. and we held a silent protest. Mm. We make a uh, uh, leaflet campaigns. Mm. And at the moment, we are educating parliamentarians, religious leaders and uh, local leaders. Mm. And we are having our next general committee meeting on 27th of this month. Mm. So the previous one unanimously decided to wait until 27th. Mm. So we'll decide what to do at next level. Hmm. this general committee meeting on coming on 27th. So, Doctor, the general public will have to, you know, wait and see as to if they will have to suffer uh, more trade union action. The thing is that this is this is for the betterment of the entire health system. Hmm. So, if we allow this to happen hmm. just for another one week, the hmm. amount of doctors leaving the country will be more. Hmm. So, what will happen is that we have been giving the same care that is available in the capital everywhere in the country in the equal manner. Mm. Whatever the surgery that you have, you can do in Colombo, you can do it in the far away in Ampar also. Mm. So what will happen is if this brain drain continues, the peripheral system will shut down. Mm. So ultimately the general public will suffer. Mm. So if we do not do anything now, so we are thinking about our membership, entire health system and also the general public. Mm. So if this trend continues, the remaining people will be exhausted and they will have a herd defects to go abroad. Hmm. And again, the entire health system will be collapsed. So ultimately, the general public will be the victims. As they always are. Thank you very much, Dr. Vikram Singh, for joining us on the Talk of the Town. It's back to the morning fix on Yes 101.